All right, guys, welcome back. It's been a long time, several years since I posted some how-to videos. I'll be posting more uh, coming up here uh, pretty soon. I thought I would just go ahead and kick this off with one of the most uh, confused items, NPN versus uh, PNP. How do you troubleshoot? A lot of times when you look up stuff on the Internet, uh, a lot of stuff that you find is referring you to electronics, uh, the uh, transistor itself, which is, in fact, a part of it. But... Um, for the purpose of troubleshooting and where do you put your meter leads and everything like that, that can be a little bit confusing and they speak a little bit of a different language than we do out on the plant floor. So let me help you get to the crux of the issue real fast. I'm going to bring up an image I found quite easily on the internet. Great little picture. And this is really the best way of taking a look at it. I got myself a little Automation Direct uh, NPN. Is this an NPN one? Yes, NPN one. I can look real fast and can tell just by looking at it. And I got one that's out of the bag here. Oh, there we go. Got a little thing right here. And what I have myself set up with is a, I got myself a 24 volt power supply, normally open push button, and a relay right now. And that might confuse you a little bit. You're going, what's going on with, what's going on there? So let me go ahead and just go over this image real fast. We'll get my beautiful mug out of the picture. So, Right here, what you see is is your load on this. This is your PNP device or NPN device, depending on which one you're looking at. And if you notice, your positive power is here, and your negative or zero volt or ground is here. Okay, so positive and zero volts, positive and zero volts. But if you notice, what switches its placement is actually your load. Okay. You're actually your load. Now, guys, it's critically important to remember that a PLC input is, in fact, a load. Okay? It's a tiny, small load, but it's still a load. A little light in the front of it lights up, and it turns something on internally so the logic knows what to do. It's very important to realize that's a load. Small load, but still a load. So when you're wiring up your device to, or when it was originally wired up to an input on a PLC, the load actually refers to most of the time is actually your PLC input. Now, you could go and hook that up to um, like a relay, like a small relay that doesn't pull too much uh, current or, or other devices. You can actually switch other devices besides a PLC input, but typically these are usually landed to PLC inputs. So, Let's go ahead and get back into it. So what I have here is I've got myself a little 24 volt power supply going to a normally open push button, right? Right there. And then I'm going to a relay. So if you could take a look at that relay, my brown wire is my positive, right? And my white and blue wire is my negative. And when I push there, see that right there? I'm lighting up my relay, okay? Now, if I follow, you can look real closely, I've got the brown wire labeled or connected to the A1, right? See, A1, A2 is my zero volt, right? I'm just passing that brown wire right there, going from the A1 through Way there for you oh, not too confusing through just a normally open push button so when I when I push that right there it closes the relay it sends power to the relay and then the front of the power supply right there that's just my positive and negative coming out of the power supply right so what's important to remember and I think you guys all probably know if you're looking up this video is that every circuit has to be completed well here's the thing it doesn't have to be completed on the positive side. So in this case, we've wired this up to complete it on the positive side, right? But if I went ahead and I take this wire out and I put the switch in with the negative side instead, there's nothing stopping it from working completely fine that way. Only it a little bit more confusing to most people, but things can be wired up that way and I've actually worked on several things that have been wired up that way. Why do I bring this up when we're talking about NPN versus PNP? Well, guys, it's simply because if you look closely at it right there, that's why. Because 
all we're doing is, is we're moving the switch, right? All we're doing is we're moving the switch right here. Okay, this is my switch. This is, this is just, think of it just like this. This is my, my activating device. If I'm, whether I'm pushing a push button, right? Or I'm taking a proximity switch and something's a piece of metal or whatever it is, depending on the type of switch, I'm, and I'm, I'm performing some sort of act, right? That, that act, like pushing down on that, is what continues the path of, of power. Whether I'm doing that on the positive or negative side doesn't really matter. Now here's a great way of remembering it for your reference. So if you're gonna take your meter, you got two leads, right? And I wanna see if my signal is coming out, right? So in this right here, one of my meter leads are gonna to go to the zero volt for reference, right? And then my other lead is going to go on the output of the PNP switch, right? So sensor, whatever it is. And I'm going to put that anywhere in line there, okay? Going, including maybe all the way up to, this might be a PLC input. I might put it right there. And I can check for voltage there. I can say, okay, do I have, usually it's going to be 24 volts. Do I have 24 volts here? Yes, no, okay. Um, hey, Bob, go ahead and flag that switch for me while I'm testing this. Oh, okay, I'm seeing it change state. That switch isn't the problem, or I'm not, so the switch is the problem. Or on the NPN side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. Instead of my reference being ground here, what I'm going to do is my reference is going to go on the positive side, right? The positive side. Very, very important, okay? So... I'm looking at my, my power supply here, and I got my positive, my brown wire is my positive. And my, that part right there is going to be my reference. And then the other lead is going to go on the output wire of my uh, device, whatever switch or sensor it is that I'm using. Now the easy way, there's a really, really easy way to kind of remember if you're, if you're just in your brain, you're getting a little bit confused or whatever, PNP and NPN, the middle letter is your reference. Just remember that the middle letter is your reference. Now that's not what they really stand for, but it's very easy to remember this. Just think negative and positive. That's all you gotta do. The middle letter is my reference. The middle letter is my reference. Just keep that in your head. So in a PNP, negative is my reference, okay? And with my other lead, I'm checking the signal. In NPN, positive is my reference, right? Positive is my reference. And with my other lead, I'm checking the signal. Right. And one last little point, guys, for you is it's very, very important to remember this has nothing to do with normally open and normally closed. This is an extremely common mistake. I hear a lot of people say, oh, it's normally open, normally closed, normally open, normally closed. It has nothing to do with normally open and normally closed because an NPN or PNP sensor can be either normally open or normally closed. It has nothing to do with that whatsoever. Normally open and normally closed has to do with the, the rested state that it's in. So, for example, a normally open push button is open and there's no power traveling through here until I press down on it, right? When I press down on it, I get power, right? Because it's normally open. I don't have a pathway. There's no metal contacting metal, no conductor contacting conductor to make that power flow, right? That's a normally open. Now say this was on, and then I had to hit the button to stop it from coming on, that would be normally closed. That means it's passing power until it's acted upon. That's the difference between normally open and normally closed. Nice little reminder there for everybody. Just go ahead and keep those two separate. NPN, PNP has nothing to do with normally open and normally closed. It has everything to do with the side that it's on, okay? Like I said, I could switch this around, put it on the negative side, and and open and close it and that would be another decent example of it um, now you can look further there there's plenty of other stuff out there on the electronic side of it that that explains the the transistor and of course the the image itself you know gives you a little picture of their NPN versus PNP transistor and I, I like this image I think this is a good one right here but if you have any other problems, questions, or concerns, if you feel like I got anything wrong, uh, maybe there's a better way you feel like there is to explain it, go ahead and 
uh, leave some comments down. Um, please like and subscribe and share the video. Uh, we're working on this. We will be starting up our classrooms very soon. And I look forward to seeing you and talking to you more. Thank you. Have a good day.